Blessings in life, family. Hope all is well. You know, I had to do a little walk. Not too bad today. Now I go handle your business like a man or a woman. Got to make sure your fiat currency is correct. <laughs> you know, um, I wanted to get on here today. I know it's hard to smile when it's when it's rough outside. You know, sometimes you just want to give up. Sometimes you just want to just be just be alone, just disappear from the world. I want to tell you all that's watching this video. It's easier said than done just to say to keep going and thug it out. Sometimes you just feel weak that you need somebody to, you know, lean on, a shoulder to cry on, somebody just to, just to give you a hug. And just be like, you know, I love you, I appreciate you. You're my best friend. Or if you're a girl, you know, that's your boyfriend. If you're a guy, that's your, your girlfriend. You know, you pray together, you sit together, you talk together. You get to know each other even more on a deeper, just spiritual level. You know, that one thing that I actually value a lot when I actually get into a relationship with a woman is it's not sex. Sex is, it. that's an exchange of energy. Nobody should just be having sex with anybody. That's why there's so many broken homes and trauma bonds and STDs and baby mama, baby daddy drama. But just the overall meaning of just getting to know that person, who they truly are within inside themselves. Because anybody can see natural beauty from the outside. But sometimes the person can be rotten in the inside if you don't really get to know them. But just having the chance just to talk. And even if you're black pill, red pill, blue pill, purple pill, you know, for some people that's into that. You know, there's still a part of you as a human being that craves intimacy. And intimacy doesn't necessarily mean sex. A lot of people get that confused. Intimacy is just like I was mentioning earlier, a platonic relationship, you know, or hanging out with your homies, you know, getting to know your homies on a, on a intimate level, but not on that type of level, if you know what I mean, you know, to have some real conversations, you know, just really just connecting with your, with your best friend or if you, if you with your girlfriend or if you with your boyfriend, you know, same thing, connecting with them on, on a deeper level, on a spiritual level, just getting to know that person. I want to say thank you, uh, Father God. I want to say thank you so much uh, for the people that are righteous that have been in my path. You know, there's been a lot of people that has died in my path. I wish I got to say goodbye to, but I know in time I'll see them in, you know, due time. I had to remember that um, death is not necessarily a bad thing. It, it, you know, it can be in the human flesh. You know how that go. We, we may cry, we may mourn for the death, but you know, if they're saved and live righteously, I say probably they probably just looking down at us most likely and just like man if only you can experience it is there's a lot of people that 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 died throughout my life some of natural causes some a violent death and I think about it from time to time like the conversations that we had the last time we hung out last time we spoke on the phone or texted you know conversations like that it just it's it's near and dear to my heart and um it's like I say every year on my birthday or even people that celebrate pagan holidays, you know, such as Christmas, Halloween, et cetera, et cetera. You know, I don't I don't want any materialistic stuff. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm just like anybody else. It's nice to have materialistic things, but that doesn't make me happy. You can have all the stuff in the world and still be still be miserable. You know, truth be told, and I say this every single year, the only thing I really want for my birthday is you to just keep being my real friend. Always have my back, always love me. And I'll do the same. Just having food in my stomach, healthy food at that. Clean clothes on my back. You know, shelter if I can afford it. Or if somebody was, you know, to help me out if I really needed it. Just being alive, you know, and, and try to live my best life. There's a lot of times, family, and I know we all speak like this, but nobody's, a, nobody's, um, going to admit it because they're too afraid to really tru truly be themselves on camera there's a lot of times we do wish we can die there's times i wish i can die to be real sometimes it's on suicide but not like like i want to kill myself but like depression i meant to say sometimes i just want to just be with father god but most of the time it is to be with father god 
you know, sometimes, man, like this world, this world can't consume you if you let it. It's a lot of evil in this world, man. It is so humid out here, by the way. <laughs> and I'm not saying this video to make anybody sad or depressed, but just I'm just giving you real thoughts, real meaning. A lot of people just are not real with themselves. They're afraid to be true with themselves. It's like, why is everybody so scared just to be real, bro? Relationships, friendships, coworkers, schoolmates, or classmates, should I say, just everybody just love being fake, bro. Sis, <laughs> you know, I can't be fake. I don't know how to be fake. I mean, I could be fake, but what is that gonna benefit me? Just like lying on a person, what is that gonna benefit me? There's no reason to be fake. You know, one thing that I do want to say, family, <laughs> beautiful day out here, but that's not what I was going to say is um, the real people that you do have in their life, that you do have in your life, I'm going to say this again, the real people that you do have in your life, cherish those people like a diamond, hold them close to your heart like a vest, because they might, they might not be here every day or every night. God is eventually going to call them back home. There's some people today I wish I can just have a conversation with straight up. Just call them on the phone. Straight up, man. Just um, just keep living your life. Try At least try to. It's, it's a simulation we live in. It's the matrix. We got to function off this fiat currency. But the most important thing we all, we all can do as a person until God does call us back home for some that don't believe in God, like talk to God for real. Really, no, really speak to God. Really get to know God. Really let your heart, your desires, your anxiety, let it go. Really, really talk to God, just like I'm doing right now. Talk out loud. God, trust me, God listens. He listens to everything, whether it's bad, whether it's good, whether you feel depressed, anxious. Just, just talk to God, man. I'm telling you, He may not talk directly to you at the moment, but you will have a vision if you truly believe and and love and give your life to God. Trust me, you will have a vision for those that don't believe in God. God is as real as me walking right now and, and using this phone to record this video and these trees, this beautiful trees and this grass, this world that we live in. There's nothing more in this world that I want. And when I, not even in this world, but just, just be with Father God Almighty, bro. Father God is, um, I thank him for everything that I have in this world. Both the good and the bad. And the reason why I say the bad is because the lessons that I learned from dealing with certain people made me be a stronger man or a stronger woman for those that that's man and female. You know, because you, you, you grow every day, you grow every night. You're not going to be the same person every day, every night. That's why it baffles me when people still act the same exact way they did when they was 20 and they're in their thirties. And I'm thinking like, aren't you a little old to be acting like that? Just, just, just a little bit, you know, you, you need to mature. So that term, you know, you get older and you get wiser is not necessarily true. I've seen plenty of people that's in their 30s that's pretty idiotic. The 25-year-old or the 20-year-old has more sense and just just more capability of functioning a task than they do. And it's, it's crazy how things work. I've seen 16-year-old, yeah, literally teenagers, that's more mature than 30-year-olds. 16, yes, yeah, 16. I've seen them in my own eyes. The way they talk, the way they carry themselves. I was one of them. I was goofy at 16. I ain't gonna lie, I was a goofy teenager. <laughs> I remember being 16 like it was yesterday, man. That was that was a fun age, man. 2009 was a good year. That was a, that was a great year, man. And uh, late 2008, that's when I was 16. That was a good year, man. 2009 was cool, but my favorite, favorite year of all time was 2011. But to get back to what I was saying, you know, cherish everybody that you have on this earth. One of my... um. My good friend, she actually recently passed, like last month. They just had her. Oh man, they just they just had her her casket, like her um, funeral. Excuse me, it's, you know, obituary. And man, it just like it it, it it baffled me because it was like the same way. Like when I was when I was living in New York, and my boy C Greens, he he got killed, and I didn't get to say goodbye to him. Sometimes that still bothers me to this day. But I try not to let it get to me. It got to a point at one time I felt like I was going, I was growing numb to death because it's, I remember saying this in thoughts off the mind. It seemed like there was always somebody dying, like literally. It's always somebody dying, bro. 
and you start to get you, you start to feel like a cold feeling within yourself and, and in your chest but you can't let it be that way you got you know try to make it be lemonade a lot of this this world this fake simulation of a world we live in and these fake people these cars the jewelry none of that matters man you know it's just i know 70 80 years you got to live on this planet is a long time but just try your best man just to have people to, to to be next to you that's real to help you be back on that right path or if you feel kind of weak you know to help you stand up they're basically your crutches your food that's healthy they give you that protein they give you that that, that sunlight to recharge they give you all that I know it's hard out here. Trust me. I'm not going to lie to you, family, and say, oh, everything is good and everything is perfect and stuff. You're going you're gonna to have some moments where Satan himself, just life, is going to test you. You're going to be literally, metaphorically speaking, laying on the ground, just, just breathing for air, trying to get up. And, and life is literally, and Satan is just kicking you, literally just kicking you while you're still down, bleeding and all that, metaphorically speaking. And you're trying your hardest just to make, just to make some type of move, just to just help yourself out. You know, I, I know what it feels like. I know what it feels like to be alone. I know what it feels like to be broke, but I'm not talking about broke as spiritually broke or mentally broke, but broke in a, in, in a money concept. I know what it feels like to have people who you thought was your real friends and you took care of them in a sense and they turned their back on you. They stabbed you in the back. I know what that feels like. I know what it's like to work two, three jobs. I know what that's like, bro. And you and you and you trying your hardest, you know, to keep a smile on your face and you feel like you're about to cry. But what I want to get out in this video is um, you can't give up, man, because people people always say you, you, you get the rest when you go to bed every single day and every night. Yes, that's true in a sense, because, you know, sleep is the cousin, you know, to death. But the, the only time that you truly um, get to rest is when you when you get called back home. That's the only time you get the rest. When you when you get called back home by Father God, that's when you get to fully rest. Until then, you're still at war. Nobody on this earth is at 100% peace because where, where we're living in right now, this is this is what I like to call Satan's playground because you know Satan is is the god of this world, for real. He's the god of this world. That's why everything is so bad. You know, people getting raped, and people getting killed, people getting stabbed. All these diseases, plagues, earthquakes. It's, we live in Satan's world, bro. This is his world. I literally feel like this is a form of hell. Literally. Like a lighter version. It's not actual hell because I've seen Satan in, in one of my visions. i seen him. Very, very scary. You don't trust me. You don't want to see Satan, bro. i seen him in my vision. God showed me a vision. But just try to keep, you know, put your A game up. <laughs> Video about almost 14 minutes, 13 minutes now. But uh, I just want to just put this little brief message, try to get this out here before I start working again. You know, I don't want to go back to this nine to five stuff, man. I hate, I hate working. And I get people like, I'm not lazy by any means necessary, man. Like, it's just monotonous, man. I got to do the same thing every single day, five days a week for eight and a half to nine hours. And they want to, it's a blue feather, kind of black. So I'll be finding feathers too. For people that don't know, feathers are uh, true symbolize true symbols of uh, your guardian angel your ancestors following you and um i find i've been finding a lot of feathers this year more than i ever found in my life <laughs> believe that i talk to god every day and night man every day and every night just to talk to god it don't even have to be about anything bad just just to, i just be talking to god just to talk to god i know he listens to me me and God got a great relationship. I love Father God. I know he loves me. I'm his son. We're all his children. Whether you, you committed a murder or not, you know, you can literally repent. Now, trust me, God will forgive you. If you're true in your heart and you know and you know in your heart that you really want to give it up to God and give it up meaning that you really want to balance your life out, you want more clarity, you want to be as pure as you can, God will give you that. I'm not just saying that. No, for real. God will forgive you if you repent, if you literally ask and pray on your knees for, for, you know, for forgiveness. God will give you that for real. There's no sin on this earth that you can do that God won't forgive. He said if you was to take the mark of the beast, then he's not going to forgive that. Because you basically pledge your allegiance to Satan. That was my, that was basically what my vision was about. But I had to speak on it another time. I had to get this video out, man, because it just, it's just been, 
It's just been on my mind for the past couple days. I need to do a video about this. I've been doing a lot of videos lately since I got this newer iPhone. And um, I have no idea when personally, but when I get the actual money to actually fix my laptop and finally record some more music, you know, I would like to put out the real messages because I have a lot of powerful songs, but you know, Satan is probably laughing because I can't put those songs out because it's my change of rap, my style of rap is still somewhat similar to what it was, but like the message is very different from what it was five years ago, six years ago. You know, I don't cuss. Well, I haven't really cussed my music in years, anyways. But it's it's real biblical. It's funky too. You're gonna love it. I had I played it on Facebook a few times. People were like, "Is that out?" I'm like, "No, nah, it's not out. Not out." Uh, mm -mm. Got to get it professionally mixed and mastered. But yeah, Satan, he's probably laughing that my music, that that biblical music, can't come out. He don't want it to come out. One video that I seen real quick, I want to say this, is uh, from a YouTuber named Tiario. I liked what he said a lot. Actually, I loved what he said. He said, Satan only goes at certain people um, depending on you know the strength of what they do for Father God. Like, I'm just paraphrasing. I was like, that makes sense because there's some people Satan don't really bother. Some people he picks at. He knows who you are from the time you was born, even before you was born. So, um, yeah, he's if he knows that you're going to try to change the world or do anything that's going to uplift people, he's going to come at you on a different rate than just the next person that's next door to you or whoever. You know, so you got to be careful and um, always be, you know, military minded peep game. One thing that I be telling people <laughs> is um, always be careful where you walk. And when I say be careful where you walk, I'm saying that in a metaphorical sense. Be careful with the people that you hang with. Be careful at certain jobs that you go to or work at, even school. Be careful at certain grocery stores that you go into. You know, and when I say be careful, um, truly observe and listen. You can learn a lot about a person or a specific area if you just listen, if you're just being quiet. You know, a lot of people just want to talk, 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 and, you know, act like they know all the answers. Mm -mm. Let people think you're dumb. I like I like letting people think that I don't know too much and they just literally just spill all the, the gossip, literally. And the whole time I literally know what's going on, but I'm just waiting to the I'm, I'm waiting for them to tell the truth. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't. And that's when I cut off the person. Remember, what I was saying early to you guys before, never, ever hesitate to cut a person off, whether they're blood relatives or not. If they're not doing any type of positivity in this world or towards you, or even for themselves, cut them off. You don't have time for that. This life is short. Live your best life. Life is a gift. I'm not gonna sit here and say it's not a gift, but it's definitely a test. It's definitely a test, man, I'm gonna tell you that. It's a big test. <laughs> Straight up, man. I love you guys. I hope you guys continue to prosper. Be safe in this chaotic world. Try to keep your head up. For real, keep your head up. You know, I'm rocking with you, man. We brothers at arms, sisters at arms, Lynn. Peace and light.